Mac fans, welcome back. Today we're looking at how we can create a GIS web map using photos from our smartphone. And to do that, we're going to be using an ArcGIS online developer account. If you don't have one of those already, you can click on the link to see a video of how to set that up. And it is totally free. Once that's set up, we'll be diving straight in and having a look at how we can set our phones up. So let's get on and do that. Before setting up phones, this is what the finished product looks like. And you can see that we're on Roberg Peninsula. All of these points are in fact a photograph. I haven't titled or described all of them, um, but this is what we're aiming for. And this is publicly facing, so you can share this with family and friends and show them what you got up to. And as you can see, it highlights which photograph you are on as you move around. At the end of this video, there is a little bit of housekeeping and you can see how to sign up for a free course on ArcGIS Online. But now let's have a look at what we need to do with our phone. Before we install any apps, we can go into our settings and make a couple of changes. So I'm just going to bring down my settings, click on that. And then in the settings, if I scroll down, I'll get to location. And here I want to make sure that my location is on. And I'm going to set the mode to high accuracy. And that means that we're using GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or mobile networks in order to determine our location. So that's the most accurate way that we can record location with our phones. Once we've done that, I'm going to go into my camera and I just need to make this landscape. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. So this is landscape and I'm going to go into the settings on my camera. And from there, I'm going to hit more and somewhere down here there will be save location and i want to make sure that that is switched on now your camera might be a little bit different to mine but there will be a similar setting in there um, to allow you to do that so my save location is switched on fantastic next thing we need to do is go to google play store and search for this app this is an app provided by esri and it's called snap to map so you can install that and if I open this up, we are going to have a learn tab and a start tab as well. So if I just go on to start, it should ask me to sign into my developer account. Now, if you don't have a developer account, like I said before, there is a link at the start of the video to get you set up with one of those. So I'm just going to put in my username and password and then we'll be all signed up. Once you've signed in, you will be faced with this screen and it will ask you if you want to create a new map tool or view my map tools. And what we're going to do is create a new map tool. If I click on this, it should open up and we can add a title and then choose a base map. So I'm going to call this Roberg Peninsula. And the description is just going to be demo for the time being. And for the base map, which base map would I like? Probably imagery, I think. That'll do. And then you can hit next up in the top right. Next, you'll be asked to add photos. And if I scroll down a little bit here, I've got a folder called 100 Andro. And that's got 1,970 photos in it. Now, that's where the bulk of my photos are stored. But a little tip for you, instead of trawling through those, I connected my phone to the computer and created a different folder just with the photos that I definitely wanted to use for this. And that's called Roberg. Um, it's important to note that these photos have been taken already, so I'm not doing this whilst I'm out and about. I am actually back home. And all of these photos had their location um, function attached. So I'm going to select the ones of these that I want. Let's just put them all in for now. And then I'll hit next. And for each photo, we are going to add a title and then add a description. Now I'm only going to do this for the first couple um, because otherwise it would take forever. 
but you can choose what you'd like to do for yours. And you can also get to choose the color of the cursor. So I'm going to go with green. Add Roberg, and we're going to call it demo. Okay, I've done that. And then let's do this one as well. Demo, done. Now this would take ages, so I'm just going to click through this, but you get the picture. Ha <laughs> ha. While you're going through your photos, you might find that some of them are not geotagged, as you can see here. And so you can click on them and then choose where to put them. So here we can see that it's defaulted to my current location and then you'd have to move the pin around in order to do that. Now you can do this later on as well once you're into ArcGIS online. So I'm just going to put this one in Hungary for now so that I know that it's uh, not got the proper geotag and leave it right there. Once you've titled and described all of your photos you can hit next. Now if you do have any photos that are not geotagged it will ask if you would like to use your current location, remove the photos or edit the photos and add the location. So I'm just going to use my current location for now, that will do. When you're taking photos with your camera, at least on mine, you see a little satellite symbol and that means that your location is not locked in. When it changes to a pin, that means that your location is locked in. So if you just wait for that pin symbol when taking photographs, it should mean that all of your pictures are geotagged. And there we are. We've got 24 photos. We could save as a draft, we could cancel, or we can publish. And so I am going to publish. Now what this will do is it will connect to my ArcGIS Online account and it will upload all the photos and the map and the titles and everything and will be done. Now apparently my login has in expired so I'm just going to log in again quickly. Now that I'm logged in again you can see that it's creating the feature service, creating the web app and creating the app. So all of that is going up and this may take some time. We've got 24 photos to upload and it'll let you know what the progress is like. As you can see, we've got one out of 24, two out of 24. So why not go and make a cup of tea whilst this is processing? All right, once that has uploaded, you will see that it is done and you can tap to view this in your browser, but what I am going to do instead of using the phone, I'm going to switch to desktop and we can have a look on the desktop. Now, if I go to arcgisonline.com and log in, I'll be taken to my organization and this will tell me what's happening in terms of my account. Now, if I click onto content, I don't have very much in here because this is the developer account and you can see I've got my first map from the last video. And over on the left hand side in my folders, I have a new folder called Robo Peninsula and it's 2020 Jan 22nd and the time. Excellent. So if I click on that, you can see that we've got a web mapping application, a web map and a feature layer. Now the feature layer will be the points with the photographs. The web map will be those in a web map and the application itself will be what is forward facing. So if I just click on this, and let's have a look at the application. We can see that it's got the snap to map thumbnail and we can view the application or we can configure it. So I'm going to view it to begin with. And here we are, we've got it configured. So we can see that I've got a number of uh, ungeo tagged photos, unfortunately. And if I zoom in down here to where Roberg Peninsula actually is, this will normally be where the map starts. And you can see that each picture has got a number associated with it. And you can tell what order we went around Roberg Peninsula in. So there are a number of different settings you can use on these. And I have a new course coming out quite soon. In the new course, we'll be looking at ArcGIS Online, how to work with maps, different data types, how to build your own web apps, your own story maps, and also working with Survey123. 
This will be a course for complete beginners or for those who'd like to dip into ArcGIS online. So if you would like to partake in that new course, then you can have a look at the description of this video and underneath you can hit show more. And in the show more, you'll see sign up to be first on the list for the new ArcGIS online course. And if we click on that, that will take us to this form. You just need to fill in your email address, your first name and your last name. And as you can see, the first 10 people that fill in this form will get that course absolutely free. All other subscribers will receive a huge 75% discount on that course. So if you'd like to partake in the course, do do that. Other than that, in terms of housekeeping, a huge thank you to Wycliffe who got in touch and asked for some Bird GIS stickers. Here you can see his laptop is rocking some very nice stickers indeed. So thanks a lot for that Wycliffe. Victor, yours are winging their way to you as we speak. So thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and happy mapping.